Hi and welcome. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming. Guys, welcome back. For everyone that's new, this is a painting video. I just take a model and I'll paint it up. Today, you've seen from the thumbnail, I'm going to paint the uh, Jin the Colts Majors up. I've had him for a while now, so it's time to paint him. So for all my regulars here, guys, I feel love. Thank you very much. Let's see you in a minute. Right, so for me, the points of interest on this model, his cloak is obviously a point of interest because it's, or his robes, shall I say, because they are everywhere, and his head. I mean, this, this stuff on the front is nice, and it probably, once there's some paint on it, it will probably catch your eye. Same as his little totem staff. Once he's had some paint on it, it will probably catch your eye. I'm going to start with some youth and grey. I'm going to take some on my brush. I'm going to push it onto some tissue. I'm going to come in and get, I'm just going to give him a quick once over on the robes and on his skin. I don't want to get any of the, um, anything that I'm probably going to paint gold. I want to try and leave that. I'm going to go off camera and do the rest. Right, so here we are. Very, very straightforward. Just whilst that's drying, <clears throat> I'm going to come in with some Retributor Armour. Now, I think this model is going to be a very, very simple job to do. I don't think he's going to need too much colours. I think it's going to be pretty simple. So I'm going to come in first of all. Let's pick out all of the bits that I think need to be the, the gold colour. Which is these little dangly bits that are hanging off of his robes. Definitely top of his staff. That makes that really stand out now. I'm unsure about his hood at the moment. Very unsure about that. Here's a couple of little vials hanging here. I'm just going to paint them gold to make them look like something really important hanging off of him. Right, so let me show you what I've done so far. So really grab the painting handle, put it in the painting handle. Let's put a gold on there. Let me go on the staff. Then I might do a little bit more here or there, I'm not sure yet. But next colour I'm going to come in with is some lead belcher. Now, when you're doing chain mail armour and you give it a black undercoat, if you come in and you dry brush the chain mail with, uh, with the uh, silver, the lead belcher, it gives you the illusion that it's all you know shaded and painted really nice. And all you've done is dry brush it. What I want to do here is try to do the same thing along this bone. So let's give it a quick little, little flick up with a dry brush. So you've got that sort of effect. So all the all the little ridges, the deepest recesses stay dark. But the other bits all highlighted up. I don't know if it's gonna work well. Let's go bring it around here. I 
to the backpack as well whilst I'm there. What is this front part? Some more ridges there. So all I've done there, as you can see, is given quite a little, a little touch up. I'm not too happy about the bits in here. I'm not doing too dark for me. A very simple technique but you can see all the dark the black undercoat in the little ridges there in the uh sorry deepest recesses the ridge there and then the silver and it gives me shading without actually me doing very much which is uh very nice and he does have a little bangle put on his wrist here and i did notice has a ring, I think, as I said there. It's finger, and I got this. I got this with the the um different grey instead of. Right, uh, that's lovely little gem in the middle of him. Get that with some silver because that's gonna have a nice easy little highlight onto it. I was gonna go with leather strapping, but I said no. Let me. Let me give him a metal strap in. So we know said Richard Armour is here as well. I think that silver on there looks really good, really tasty. Right, now I'm going to come with some white scars. And this is a very, very simple technique. So I'm going to take some and I'm going to just highlight bits of the youth and grey. I don't want to do the whole thing. I just want to highlight certain areas with the white scars. hands as well and his skin just give a quick little highlight through his face and his head I want to get more of the top of his head with the white scars than anything else So next, I'm going to come with some Mournfang Brown. This is just very simple as so a couple of, so I wonder where he's got one leather pouch here. I'm going to get that. It's also got like a little bit of a, looks like a blade, it looks like a scarab for a blade coming up from here. So I'm going to paint that up as leather as well. I don't know what to do with his staff here, because he's got a few little points on that, just above his hand there and at the bottom of the staff there, just 
Interesting. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to lead belcher. Just give them a little coat of lead belcher. Now for the bit I, I like the most in models. Let me just show you the silver on that. So the bit I like the most now is when I do say it makes the model pop. So I'm going to start with Eldari Emerald contrast paint. So when I started putting the stuff on the cloak, my my regulars would know what's coming. So now I'm going to give this some Eldari Emerald. This is an amazing contrast paint. The reason we come in with the uh, the white on top of the Euphon Grey is to give it highlights before we've even started. So as we come to this stage, it just really makes it pop off. So here's where we're at. Now that cloak, his robe, sorry, really stand out now. And you can really see that seal will pop off. I think the contrast paint's still a bit wet on the back, but it's not a big issue. I know this is silver strap. I thought it was a bit white, it's not silver strap. Now I'm going to come in with some Druki Violet. And this is going to go all over his skin. Now where I did his face, and I did the top of the head with the uh, white scars, that should really pop off really well now. If you want on his forehead there he has some ridges I'm going to try and get those I feel that very simple with very little effort that to dry now so as you can see very very simple next I'm going to come in with some Talisar blue contrast paint and this is only a few simple steps but just to break up a little bit more of the model but also um, to show off a bit more of the model highlight a bit so I'm going to these two silver bits above is uh, one of his hand and one at the bottom of the staff A gem in the middle of his chest there. I think that's the end of his sword handle. I think. I mean, this looks looks good. Get the ring on his finger. Make that stand out. This little gem here. I think that's pretty much it. Just tidy it up a little bit. A bit on this sleeve there that I missed. Let's come back and get that. I'm going to come back with the uh, Adara Emerald and just give that a little touch. But for all intensive purposes, this guy is battle ready. Now, what that means is he's like a bit more on the table and away we go. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to take him beyond battle ready standard. So that can be a dry brush, that can be an edge highlight, that can be a wash, that can be contrast paint, that can be layer paint. That could be technical paint, dry paint. So I'm going to just touch up your sleeve and then come back with you and 
try and do a little bit more just to make him pop up even more. Yeah, so let's have a quick look at this guy. He's absolutely fantastic. Very simple steps. Very, very easy. Let's see the contrast paint still a little bit wet in that crap there. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to come with some Screaming Skull. Because everything looks better with a Screaming Skull dry brush. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Take some of my brush, put it on my tissue. And I'm going to gently give it a dry brush along these ridges. I do not want to get any of that contrast paint on the brush or some kind of and uh, of course I did. It's not a big issue because I'm dry brushing the same section. Which is going to go with the bit I just did. It's going to give me a warm look. Just a little bit more on the brush, brush it off. Now, the screaming skull is a loud paint, so it will go and brighten dye itself down. Try and get the edge of this. Hopefully, by me doing this, it doesn't whip it up. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Okay, it will dull itself down, take a few minutes to make itself look nice. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the, um, I should have done this gun pouch as well. I'm going to take some retributor armor and some white scars on my wet palette and mix the two of them together. And what it's going to do is give me a nice creamy goldy colour. I'll bring the palette up and show you. So there's what should be your armour. There's my scars and the mixing it together gives you that light. You see the difference in the gold? But the wonderful thing about that is when I put it on it's going to give me the colour of gold because white scars is quite light. But give me the effect of, of um, a layer paint so it will go on and then just dull itself down so I'm going to just highlight some little raised areas here and there that's not really picking up too much Let's get these bits on the bottom here. There's actually a mad gold trim along the little piece hanging down, so I'm just going to try and get them. Now this little step I'm doing here isn't really necessary. Because he's fine the way he is. That screaming skull in the middle there. It looks absolutely amazing. I think the only thing I think this side of it looks amazing, it sort of blends into the green. This side doesn't blend in as much, but it still looks good. Alright, so before I go too far, as you can go too far when you paint the model, you go. You take it beyond but already standard and sometimes you're going to way too far and just totally whip it up i'm going to call him done and then the good thing is if you get to a position where you're painting the model and you think am i going too far then stop give it a day or so and come back and have a look at it and if you think i could do this i could do that 
you, you know, do it. But if you go too far the first time, then you can't come back and really, you know, change it too much. But I'm glad he's done. There's very little Genesis of the Colts left for me to paint at the moment until the Combat Patrol magazine comes in. The only thing I need to do is give the pouch a little dry brush for a screaming skull just to make it a bit of worn leather. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Any comments about this model, anything I've done with this model, check on below as always. If you're new to the channel and you've seen this for the first time, hit the subscribe button because it costs you absolutely nothing. Turn your notifications on so you don't miss anything. Everyone smash the thumbs up button so it triggers YouTube to share this video with more and more people, which makes this insane, amazing community of you guys grow even more. Guys, thanks for watching. Hit the buttons for me. Until next time, take it easy.